Before we get into the nitty gritty of Facebook app development, let's take a look at what Facebook applications are and how they work. Facebook applications are regular web applications that are accessible from within Facebook. A web application is a set of web technologies that perform some type of function like a game. The game Angry Birds, for example, is one of the thousands of web applications you can add to your Facebook account. What makes Facebook applications unique is that they're able to integrate with data Facebook already has on you to create unique experiences. Facebook connects lots of data about its users and their friends. So for example, you can compare scores with some of your other friends who also have installed the Angry Birds application, or you can invite friends to do so. Permissions are really important to Facebook. In order to add applications, you'll need to grant the applications permissions to some of your social data, who your friends are, perhaps your email address, or allow the app to post things like scores into your timeline. Apps in Facebook can be built with a few languages like PHP or JavaScript using different tools called Software Development Kits or SDKs and target different platforms like the desktop or iOS and Android devices. When you add an app, it will appear as a bookmark on your home screen, the screen you first log into when you visit Facebook. Apps can communicate with users in a variety of ways through requests like when you ask your friends to join you in playing an app, notifications, which is perhaps letting you know when you have reached a high score, or bookmark counts, which appear as red rectangles with numbers and let users know that there's some action waiting for them in the game. Apps can also post to a user's feed as long as the user allows them. Spotify, for example, can automatically post on your feed when you play a song. Once an app reaches 10 users, it will also be searchable through the search bar at the top of Facebook. Before then, it's only available through its own Facebook URL. Apps also get their own special page with the Facebook navigation and search at the top and a special app sidebar on the right. This is different than a regular business or fan page. And although you can add one of those pages as well when you create the app, this is the standard look that the app has when you launch it. The part of the app that is not the top Facebook nav or the special sidebar is called the canvas. It's where the user interacts with the application. This is a real important concept and one that you'll hear a lot when working with apps or reading the developer documentation. The canvas is an iframe that is a window onto a website that is not hosted on Facebook, but on a separate server. This is really important. The app itself doesn't exist on Facebook. It lives on its own server. If you're an app developer, you'll have to get your own server so you can develop and host your app. When you create your app, the app will be drawn into that special space on Facebook's app page called the canvas. Facebook applications are very powerful. Because you run the application on your own server, you have a lot of control over what your application does. Facebook gives you access to the social connections and user information you need to create powerful applications that leverage the social network.